This video outlines the steps needed to change the transfer case oil on first generation BMW X3s. We'll also show you how to reset transfer case adaptations using a scan tool and erase the transfer case fault memory once the oil has been changed. This video will be of interest to you if your vehicle has a transfer case oil wear fault code stored. The oil wear fault is set if the travel required to engage a transfer case clutch exceeds a preset limit. Each time the vehicle is turned off, the servo motor fully engages the clutch and the distance traveled is measured and recorded. If the distance is too great owing to clutch plate wear, the fault is set. Remember to work safe and work smart. Work in a well-ventilated area, protect yourself from injury at all times, and attempt all work at your own risk. Your workshop should be well-ventilated and have a hard surface if raising or jacking up a vehicle. Remember to think about your own safety and the safety of others when making repairs or modifications to your vehicle. Even if you don't feel qualified to do this work, watching the video will give you a sense of the repair and the necessary parts and equipment that will be needed if you decide to have the job done by a professional BMW workshop. Before you begin, consult your owner's manual or the appropriate repair manual for your vehicle. The subject vehicle we will be using for this oil change is a 2007 X3. This oil change procedure is best done with a vehicle raised on a lift, although the job can be done from below on jack stands. If possible, drive the X3 a short distance to warm up the transfer case oil beforehand. To change the oil, you would need a 16 mm wrench, two new drain and fill plug sealing washers, a fluid transfer pump, and a liter of BMW transfer case oil. You'll also need a container to catch the waste oil. The transfer case holds less than a liter of fluid. With hand and eye protection fitted and the key removed from the ignition, let's get the vehicle in the air. Position left arms directly under the four hard rubber jack pads. We do not recommend raising the vehicle if any of the jack pads are missing. Using a 16 millimeter open end wrench, loosen and remove the transfer case fill plug. Then loosen and remove the drain plug and allow the oil to fully drain. When the oil is completely drained, install a new sealing washer on the drain plug. Install the drain plug and tighten. Now let's add the oil. Gently shake the unopened one liter container to evenly mix the additives in the fluid. Note that graduated volume markings can be found on the side of the container. Remove the cap and install the transfer pump. Pump 700 milliliters of fluid into the transfer case. Here you can see that 300 milliliters of fluid remain. Carefully remove the hose and wipe up any spilled oil. Using a new sealing washer, install the fill plug and tighten. Lower the vehicle to the ground. If a gear oil wear fault is stored in the transfer case control module, you will need to reset transfer case adaptations using a BMW scan tool. Because our battery is weak, we're going to first connect a power supply so that no communication errors arise. Connect the scan tool to the OBD port on the driver's side A pillar. We're using an Autologic Diagnostic Scan Tool for this operation. Access the Transfer Case Oil Change screen and follow on-screen instructions. With adaptations reset, check and clear any stored fault codes found. Disconnect the scan tool, the oil change is complete, and we're ready to go. Special thanks to AutoLogic for supplying the test tool. This xDrive oil change video is based on the information found in our BMW X3 service manual. Feedback or questions? Visit our tech forums or our online tech library at bentleypublishers.com. Our technical editors will review your input and do their best to answer any questions you may have and provide additional information you may need.